Hey guys, Chad Shroff Gribben here. I've gotten this question a couple of times in the past, and so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on it. And that is, when you have a bunch of keyframes on the timeline, how do you go ahead and take these keyframes and resize them all at once? Well, there is a pretty easy way to do it. And my example here is pretty crude, but I just went ahead really quick and just put a bunch of keyframes down and changed my shape on the stage for each keyframe. Now, you could do this for images, you could do this for animations or drawings when you have a bunch of keyframes, or even tweens for that matter. So you have your thing on the stage. The first instinct to go ahead and resize all these keyframes would probably be to go to your first frame, hold and shift, go to your last frame, and then go to your free transform tool and try to resize it like that. However, that doesn't work because it'll only resize the frame that your uh, header is currently on. So if you go back to your other frames, as you can see, they are the same size. So let me just go ahead and undo that really quick. So there's a very simple way to do this. First, we're gonna go ahead with all of our frames highlighted. We're gonna go and right click anywhere on those frames and go to copy frames. Then we're going to go and make a new layer. And I'm just gonna quickly just hide this layer where our keyframes are currently so we can just see what's going on here. And on this new layer, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my pencil tool really quick and just make a little line. And then go to my selection tool and then click that new layer so that that line is highlighted. And I'm going to hit F8. This will make a symbol. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just name the symbol whatever your, your little thing happens to be. If it's a picture, if it's an animation, whatever it happens to be, and click OK. And now I'm going to double click to go into that symbol. And now I'm going to go into the symbols timeline, right click, and paste frames on that layer. So now all your frames are intact and in this symbol. And if we go out of the symbol, we can now go ahead and take our free transform tool and resize the animation or picture however we want. And when we go through the timeline, the animation remains intact because all the keyframes are in the symbol. And all you have to do is resize the symbol. And that's it. Now, if you have questions on how to use symbols in general, I did create a tutorial for that and I go over the differences between graphics and movie clips and all that kind of stuff. So if you do have questions on that, I advise you check that tutorial out. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful and I will see you guys next time.